Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about episode 19, which is in fact the next episode coming out on June 22nd, so that's in two days' time. I'm currently recording this video on June 20th, and also we're going to be breaking down another synopsis, that being for the second part of this two-part season finale. That's going to be coming a week later. Also, we're going to be discussing the big reveal that happened last episode and kind of what it means for the future. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we are going to be breaking down the synopsis for The Flash Season 8, Episode 19, titled Negative, Book 1. And in this synopsis, we get the reveal of a major character going back. So, this is the synopsis. Team Flash bands together. The Flash and team are in for the fight of their lives. Meanwhile, Iris discovers the cause of her time sickness. That is it for the synopsis. It's very short, very sweet. Doesn't really give much, apart from the fact that Iris is in fact back. She's been away for at least three episodes or so. I don't remember the exact number. And she is back now after having disappeared and she's been presumably inside one of the forces, presumably the still force, and now she's back and she discovers the cause of her time sickness. Now this is gonna be a big thing because at the end of last episode you got the reveal that Dion has come to reverse Flash in order to let him fulfill his destiny, that's pretty much what he says. So he's gonna basically give him access to the speed force once again, and let him free basically so we're gonna see reverse flash in this episode and obviously this synopsis definitely tries to hide who team flash are banding together against but we all know that that is in fact the reverse flash and so i feel like we're going to get the reveal of what exactly is going on with the forces and specifically the steel force because they are the only force that we've seen this season and because they've been so interlinked with iris and her time sickness and remember, Dion's normally good, so, you know, this twist and what he did to Barry a couple of episodes ago is still up in the air about what exactly his true intentions are. Is he good? Is he bad? I feel like we're going to find out in this episode, especially with the return of Iris. And so Team Flash, whilst Iris is figuring that out, are definitely in for the fight of their lives as they face off against Reverse Flash. And Reverse Flash is just not going to be his normal self with his old powers, his old suit. In fact, he is getting a new suit, and this episode is titled Negative Book One. And you saw last episode, the black and white lightning of Mina Darwin, who taps into Negative Speed Force, thanks to the help of the other Eobardthon, the actual good one. And so now with the bad one out there, I believe he may go to Fast Track Labs and actually use the machine to give himself powers and get that black lightning rather than the red one that he normally has. That is just a theory that I have right now because in the trailer we see someone in the lab looking on at Mina and Eobard Thorn, the good Eobard Thorn, and I'm pretty sure that could be our evil version of Thorn played by Tom Cavanagh and so I'm pretty sure that's how he's going to get his powers back because you have to remember this version has no powers They've been completely zapped out of him and wiped. He's been complaining about this the last couple of episodes to Barry when he's shown up at Lee and Yu. And so now he's going to get it back and he's going to be full on negative reverse flash. And so that's kind of the gist of what's going on in this next episode. Also, we know that Mina Darwin is going to be getting a new suit. She's wearing the black suit that she wore briefly in the comics. Normally in the comics when she's wearing the black suit, she is evil. However... We've gone through that evil phase just in that one episode last week because basically the negative speed force was controlling her and it made her evil. So they've technically already done that storyline so I don't feel like they're going to continue down that path. And now she's going to have the suit. I don't know who made the suit but I presume it could be her and Eobard that made it in anticipation for her being a speedster. But I have to say it looks really nice, it looks very sleek and it kind of looks like the flash suit but in black. And so I'm looking forward to seeing Mina suit up as a good speedster alongside Barry. And I wonder next season, is Mina going to be a regular thing? Is she going to be a member of Team Flash? Or is she going to go off to another city somewhere or another country and be the Flash of another city? That definitely could happen. But let's move on to the next thing. 
The next synopsis we're going to be breaking down is the season finale of season 8, that being season 8 episode 20, titled Negative Part 2. Okay, so Negative Part 2 is a continuation from that previous episode, and this is the season finale as I mentioned, so it goes like this. With the Flash still reeling from everything that just happened, the rest of the team rallies to support him when he needs it the most. And that is it. Very, very cryptic. We don't know what exactly is going on, but something big just happened and the Flash is reeling. And by using the word reeling, you have to assume something big has happened. Normally when they would use such wording, it would be like the death of maybe a friend. That could be something that's going on because of the return of the Reverse Flash and all the mentions of how Reverse Flash has killed people and affected Barry's life in such a big way. So I don't feel like it's far-fetched to say that maybe there is some sort of tragedy that goes on in the next couple of episodes. However, we did just go through a big loss with Frost, so I'm not going to say it's entirely likely that Reverse Flash is going to kill someone. However, Barry could still be reeling from maybe an attack that happened, or it could be something to do with Iris and how she is linked with the Steel Force and Iris is back, so maybe, just maybe, there is that link between Dion and Reverse Slash and Iris falls the victim. We'll have to wait and see exactly what's going on, but the rest of the synopsis says the rest of the team rallies to support him when he needs it the most, so they're just going to be there to back Barry up, fight the Reverse Flash, and whatever other threats are in this episode because definitely the forces could be involved in some way and so we don't know pretty much anything else apart from that this is a continuation and the title was negative part two so it's about you know negative reverse flash and him actually getting his powers him getting a black suit it's going to be different it's going to be interesting and i can't wait to actually see it in the next couple of episodes because Obviously, we get part one of the two-part season finale this coming week. But for now, let's move on to our final topic. So we're going to be looking back at what happened in last week's episode of The Flash and breaking down exactly what happened with that special cameo that shocked everyone. And so out of nowhere, last episode of The Flash, we got the return of none other than John Diggle played by David Ramsey. You guys remember John has been showing up in all of the Arrowverse shows, including Supergirl, including Superman Lois, and including The Flash. And so it's not a huge surprise that he showed up because they are developing a big story with him and it seems like this is potentially the ending to the mystery surrounding his character and what he's been going through on those specific shows like him showing up in Batwoman, asking Luke Fox for help to try and open the box that he had and that box obviously was what he found at the end of Arrow and that was linked to a crisis on infinite earths and so now we have this episode and with him showing up he actually goes and talks to reverse flash on Li Yan Yu in his cell and he talks to him thinking he may know a way because he's from the future two centuries in the future to be specific that he might have seen something similar to this and might know how to access it and open it once again because if you remember the only time that it opened for John was at the end of Arrow and you saw the green light engulfing him but since then he's been struggling with headaches it seems it's infecting his mind but he can't actually open it and now he's actually able to open it and that's with the help of Reverse Flash he has this great kind of few lines and he talks to John basically saying imagine all of these worlds imagine the infinite cosmos out there I don't remember exactly what he said but basically John was able to access it and the box opened and it opened to him so he could see what his destiny would be and it would be a cosmic destiny but he would have to leave his family he would have to leave earth and be a potential Green Lantern obviously they didn't mention it outright but when he threw the box at the end and it disappeared into nothing we briefly saw inside of it and it did kind of look like a Green Lantern type ring now we can't be for sure because it's very very obscured when they were throwing it because when he threw it it kind of like disintegrated I guess that's the best word to describe it and we're pretty sure that that cube has actually gone to someone else and that is because it seeks out people who are on a crossroads and John was at a crossroads at the end of Arrow after the death of Oliver 
his best friend and basically questioning where to move on with his life because his family is moving to Metropolis basically moving away from Star City and everything that makes him him so he was a prime candidate to be presented this cube and now it's going to go off to someone else and the big question is is this going to be presented to any of the other Arrow characters or Arrowverse characters that we're going to see in the future I would say if this is actually Green Lantern and it's pretty obvious that we're dealing with Green Lantern here I would say there's definitely the possibility in the future it depends how far the Arrowverse expands but I would say someone at some point is going to show up as a Green Lantern but for now it's probably more going to be likely to be linked to the HBO Max show and I wonder if they go down a similar path where it's the cubes that are presented rather than just the ring that you saw in like the Green Lantern film with Ryan Reynolds a while ago so that would be interesting because HBO Max is linked to the CW in some way all of their content is and especially because some of the faces behind the Arrowverse shows are working on that Green Lantern show that is currently in development I wouldn't say it's too far-fetched to assume maybe there will be a link so John's rejection of the ring and of the cube is obviously something that Reverse Flash wasn't happy about and I think it's not something that a lot of fans are going to be happy about I've seen lots of people including some of my friends be very disappointed that we never saw him suit up as Green Lantern or even see the ring at all because they've been teasing this for a long time and it's been definitely dragged out however I think it's actually a pretty good story that they've done because it's allowed us to go back and meet Diggle again post Arrow and actually have something substantial but I understand people wanting to get that payoff with him actually becoming Green Lantern so maybe it's very very disappointing for some people but for me personally I always kind of presumed he would not actually become a Lantern because everything that he's been talking about whilst he's been trying to open it has been oh this would mean going away being on this cosmic adventure away from Earth away from his family and it's very clear on the show that what they're trying to say is Diggle cares about his family and that is the end of it like he doesn't want to be you know this lantern even if he was offered all of this power and obviously that's very disappointing to a lot of you and reverse flash so you guys are in the same kind of corner but yeah that is my opinion and that's what I thought of that Green Lantern Diggle reveal at the end of last episode I think this is going to be one of the final bits we're seeing in regards to that for a while However, we know that Diggle is in fact showing up in the Superman Lois season finale, but apparently that is more linked to what's happening next season on Superman Lois with season 3. Apparently it's linked to the season 3 villain, so that will be very interesting. And I don't know about Justice U right now, we had confirmation that it's still in development, so hopefully we're going to be seeing lots more John Diggle in the future in the Arrowverse. But that pretty much does it for this video guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a Flash centric video, talking about the next couple of episodes, the finale, the two part finale. I'm very excited to talk about it and break it down with you guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. Also. Click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.